Watch your play with the big boys now. Hail Hydra! I get paid by the job, not the hour. Let's make it fast. Okay, defensive posture and call to action. So block and heroism. We generated Not heroism here. Shorted out half our system. Glad to hear it's working out. I'll be lucky if I can keep the reactor from going full Now his overload. thing, so he's targeting Not Hunter here. Comes together. We get it, Rumlo. Let's do this. He always targets the hero with the lowest health. Okay. Bind and stun only restrained for one action. And Gains a large amount of block when first damaged each turn. Well, that's just great. I feel like the hunter's in trouble. Since we don't have a lot of quick cards here, I might have to go mark target and get rid of precision here. There's Merciless. I don't think we have any stuns here, do we? That's a lie, I do have a stun. This is kind of risky. It's kind of risky. So they did keep the redraws, that part was cool. This I think I just need to mark as many units as I can now. I guess it's this. <laughs> I can go here for three, but it applies the, the vulnerable to this guy. And then I could whip him and follow up with a Merciless. And then we get that card play back. I got Quick Blast for some of these dudes. Um, I still have the Obsidian Caller. Uh, we also have, like... Okay, hold on. I could mark target him. And then do a hero combo on him while he's vulnerable. This feels very tough. <laughs> It's really only going to be good for the first attack, because then he's going to gain that block. But if you get through all of that block, then that disables Hydra Shield entirely, so he doesn't do that again. Hmm. If I take out this guy, I get a bunch of heroism to play with, blowing things up, so on and so forth. I don't have the range to get him into a stun. That would actually be the way to do it. Um. <laughs> yeah, and then I still have like all of these other problems. So is my best play just to go mark target here on him with vulnerable? I'm not targeting any other enemies. That's the problem. That's the problem. We're just getting absolutely swarmed here. If I have heroism, I've got a kill there. I have a kill there. I have a kill here. And depending on positioning, I could knock these two back. So I, I do have some mitigation here. At least. So maybe marking this guy isn't so bad. Here we go. Focus on Stark's target. I almost wonder if I just go Obsidian I Caller like now. That once, centuries ago. I still don't think it's going to be enough. 
If I whipped him and then went merciless, yes, clearly. I could do this for one. Then check the obsidian collar. Let's do this, because we're going to do this anyway. Oh, actually, if this is... Yeah. If this is doubled... With... The vulnerable, it should be enough. And we'll get the card play refunded. Let us see if they have an answer yeah, for this. Perfect. I knew it was gonna be about 150, because 106. Um Okay. Look at that too, hey? So obsidian collar into <laughs> Obsidian Collar into Merciless with where somebody is stunned or bound is ridiculous. We have to remember that combo. Either way, this is how Your I gotta start. I have no way of saving... of saving, uh... the hunter here, I don't think. I don't know how much damage he's gonna dish out, but I feel like it's gonna be more than that. If I redraw this, I do a knockback here. And then we get that card play refunded. Because of the mark. I still have two card plays. So I still have a hero combo. I got this. Generates more heroism. I blow this up. Or maybe I do, uh, wait. When he's first damaged, he generates the block. So... I don't know how much block he's gonna generate. But I almost wonder if... If I should damage him with the explosive barrel to see how much block it is, and then we could potentially hero combo him. Right? We still have our move as well. And honestly, playing this at some point here would be kind of nice. I feel like with the explosives over here, I might actually be able to just take this guy out. They cannot possibly match your strength. It's close. If I play the call to action here, I definitely I could blow these things up. He's at f so that's one. That, he's in range of there. He would take that. That's two. He'd still be alive. <laughs> Actually, I could knock him into something and then he wouldn't be alive. But I'm using three heroism and four explosives to do that. Man, he's targeting the hunter by one health here. Okay, so we're going to do this. Because the way that that's written, 258 block. The first attack against Crossbones causes him to raise his Hydra Shield, providing him with additional block for the rest of the turn. If his block is reduced to zero, he loses the ability. Okay, so we did have that correct. The problem is... Frick. The problem is... Okay, I can do it. I Can I? 242. I'm still short, my god. I'm still short. Even if I, even if I kick this thing into him, he goes. It goes down to two, uh, eighteen, and then I'm short. Oh wait, but then I have a shove. <laughs> I do have a shove. I think I can get through it, which could be 
beneficial to us. And actually, this doesn't include the knockback. So no, I think I think we are actually fine here. To get through his shield. Let's do it. Yeah, okay. So we do have enough. The knockback damage, I forgot. Oh, but I used the freaking uh, heroism. Oh my god. Oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, that's embarrassing. I wonder if he... If this goes away and then he adds it again? Or how that's going to work. So now, now I'm curious. I, I feel like I shouldn't whip here. I do kind of want to set him up for like a, a stun follow up here. But he's probably going to come blast us. I'm actually just going to do the call to action. <laughs> oh my god, man. Now I wonder... Do I use all three of these to clear this guy? So I don't have any future problems? I use three and then just like... Whatever. I'm sure we're going to get reinforcements too. This may be a regret. Uh, let me do this with Captain America. Someone on because I know I have the knockback angle there with Iron Man. Kitchen sink. 29. Let's see if this is enough. I'm still going to need the box. This is, this is a feels bad. Okay. Well. <laughs> uh, that's something. Good luck out there, Hunter. Good luck. That I still actually pretty impactful first turn still. Um, not bad. More. Yeah, I, d I did too. I always oh, feel like I I overestimate the boss's <laughs> abilities. Uh, in terms of damage output. Time grenades. Countdown with every action that the heroes take. Not card plays. Got resist. Okay, so now... So that's your legendary savior? You're supposed to be Lilith's Yeah, so his block right? did go away Must too. Be the runt of the litter. Come closer, mercenary, and I will show you just how hard this run can bite. I wonder if the shield bounce taunt from him does what I think it does. So, yeah. If we want to disable that shield, we do, we're do. we going to need to wait for Iron Man's... Um, Thing to go vulnerable. I think I could let him target Iron Man here. This also just clears the minions. It's one card play, and it gets some damage on the big boy. Because if I hero combo, I think we just stay in the same spot. But this gets him out, and then I can use... I can look at Surgical Strike, or I can just use a move and move Iron Man. Here we go. Hardly a okay. Okay, so now it's much lower. Well, that's good, at least. That's good. Um, and the taunt does override the lowest person. So that's also good. Although, I'm not going to do this yet. We do have a whip now. 
Wait, where is the thing? Oh, it's actually right here. So this could work too. Hold up. Yeah, if we could knock him into there, that would be really cool. Okay, so... Oh, interesting. So that didn't go off. I guess this is only counting card plays. Because it does specifically say actions. Well, that's what you get for assuming. <laughs> uh, this is not going to be useful here. Another shield bounce. We need a way for him to gain block right now. That would be great. I mean, we have defensive posture into a whip. I wonder if I whip him there now, what would happen? He would probably get stunned. But like, I'm looking at where he's gonna land, right? Actually, maybe this is the play. He should land in the circle there. I don't care about the stun. I care about him taking this damage. So I'm gonna get our block going. That should trigger the stun grenade. He is doing a powerful attack, it's showing. It's gonna take more than that. Well, that was weird. But okay, he's in the circle, that's all I care about. <laughs> Let's redraw shield bounce here. Quick punch, not great. Okay, he's gonna take a big chunk of damage here, and that should destroy his shield. The cap's getting hurt. Let's get it on! Kill just about everything that walks so oh, Point blank. Wounded. That's you not great. Like the juggle. <laughs> just another scar. Rough. Oh, I thought we were finished. Bruce, getting quiet down there. I'm a little busy. Perhaps if you could stop the, the block. Hail of rockets from slamming into the facility, I could stabilize the highly explosive reactor. Ish. Always so Whenever touchy. he plays a card, he's going to take 32 damage. Okay. Hunter's getting attacked next, but has resist, but has to move out of this position. Um, he would take 32 damage. He's at 101. So that must mean that he's targeting the unit with the lowest... Yeah, lowest health. Block is irrelevant to him. That's cool. I'm just wondering if I should even do anything with Cap here. If I don't absolutely have to, the health is very precarious. I definitely need to move him. Let's put him in the corner. Okay. <laughs> the nice thing is I do get two cards off this, you know? Let's redraw the quick punch. If I get the if I get the hunter card 
for curing. That could be kind of cool. This would be the time to play this, except our hero combo would get used. Or get discarded, I think. I don't mind this. It gets our hero combo up as well. Puts that online. Or I could do this. But I feel that's gonna, yeah, it's gonna land me in grenade. But maybe I should do this. Put some more damage on the big boy. I'm gonna redraw a surgical strike as well, because Hail that. it's not adding any value. <laughs> okay, there's merciless. Interesting. Well, I think we got to go hero combo, so let's start there. We can do this together. It's nice that it's not a Captain America one either, so he's not going to take any damage. Okay. And then, I could save this, but like we're so far away from this area of the map that feels a bit tough. And I'm going to resist his damage anyways. So I'm just going to put this on the minion and save Cap. A bit of a headache there. I feel like there's a, a, a good argument for me to go into um, uh, attacking him there. But this also gives us Obsidian Caller, which I pair up with this for... That's sick, yeah. 228 damage, so that'll take him his first life gone next turn here. Unless something weird happens with this attack. Just anything's possible. It's about time. Heroes in a vest. Dazed. That's what I was worried about. Okay. <laughs> Let's see how many it is. Holy crap. Oh, yeah. He gets multiple attacks. He almost died. Wow. Wow. I forgot about multiple attacks. It didn't even cross my mind. Oh, look. He's in the circle. Oh, but so is our hunter. Always wanted to get a closer look at that shield of yours, Cap. It'll make a nice souvenir. Okay. Careful what you wish for, Brumlow. So the only way this works, I need to. I need to play three cards. So I need a quick card, at least, so that I can use my last move or whatever to move the hunter out of there. Ish. I actually, that's not true. As long as I have heroism, I could... Well, that's not true either because I don't have anything to target. Ah, uh, no, that's not true. I could use a move and shove this guy and get him out. And then this will go off first, so his attack won't happen. If I don't have to play his cards, I won't. Let me redraw one Tactician here, even though I love that card. Surgical Strike. So let me think about this. I just, I don't have any damage cards here. I could heads up, give that to the Hunter so he's got something going for him. Uh... Maybe redraw Surgical Strike again. I need a quick card so bad. I'm 
I'm gonna redraw Surgical Strike. Okay, Taunting Quick. So, it's unfortunate. Oh, but that's gonna put Cap in the circle, man. And if I use it here, then I... Well, as long as I keep the move, it's fine. Well, that's not true, because Iron Man might take this, too. Because he's going to stay in this position to do that. If I move here, that's possible. And actually, technically, <laughs> technically with the resist, he's going to go down and I'm not. So maybe I don't worry about that. Maybe I don't worry about that even. Thirty-two damage when they play a card. Um, I w I would. Yeah, I guess if we put the block on there, he's gonna resist the next damaging attack, which is gonna be this thing. He's gonna go down. This guy is gonna go down too. So yeah, interesting. I knew you were scared. I hope that works the way that I think it's gonna work. You're lucky and then we have to take this guy nice down ones. again. So do I apply the vulnerable now? Because it's gonna save me the card play, and then he's gonna be vulnerable at the start of the next turn? I would say yes. I would say yes. Because then I could even go Obsidian Collar into All Out. And he's going to be vulnerable. That's going to be a ton of damage. If I do this first... I still have card plays, man. Uh, I still have card plays, but it's like... What do you do? I don't want to injure Cap anymore. So, yeah, okay, here's what we're gonna do. Looks like you could use this. I hope the vulnerability persists between phases. Focus on Tony Target. Nobody makes me bleed my own blood. I don't want to take damage. I think I just let this chill here. <laughs> That's so cool. That's so hilarious. Resist it. <laughs> I get paid by the job. Nah, well, let's see if the vulnerable stays. I actually don't know, but it'd be sick if it did. Sure, just keep throwing bodies at the problem. Recovered. Resist, nice. Oh, it does. Oh, Surprised does it? Courage to come down here and face us yourself, Rumlo. And I he's in the circle again. Extra for honor. I miss the look on your face. And he shouldn't. Uh... Me, oh, Nothing I think he's dead here. Away from here today. I think he's dead. Obsidian collar. This shall be of great help. <laughs> Uh, either one of these. Actually, no! Oh, that's crazy. I for keep forgetting. Obsidian Caller doesn't buff all out, because it's heroic. It only buffs the attacks, but it doesn't matter, because now I have Merciless and all out while he's vulnerable. So I can play both. No you think that hurts? Oh, he gets that back in the second phase? Okay, cool. Well, I could get rid of it. At least. Oh, I can't even. Okay. I can't get rid of it. Let's get rid of this guy so only one's targeting the hunter. Now that was something. I still think I have to go all out here for sure. 
And then I could try some redraws to get either a quick or I'd be happy with a whip just to get him in this area so we can set him up for that big damage stun. And this will at least chew through a large chunk. Barely even noticed it. Next turn, he's going to take the air attack damage there. Surgical strike is kind of wasted. Oh, okay. Now we're talking. I'm just a little bit worried that these things might get destroyed in the knockdown and also don't know where they're going to place them. But, I mean, I could try it. Hunter is going to get attacked twice, which is concerning. It is concerning. I'm not exactly sure if we survive there, but... Let's figure it out. Let's learn. Okay, so those are not close. This is a stun, and this is a vulnerable. Okay. I wasn't 100% sure. So we can also detonate it or throw people into it. Very neat. Now Hunter gets out of there. This guy's gonna get his shield destroyed. He's gonna be about half health, uh, but he is gonna attack the Hunter twice. One's gonna be resisted, sure. And if he goes down, then Cap is next. So keeping this is good, but maybe Shield Bounce I could get rid of. Okay. That's all I got. That's so good. Might as well line up, suckers. I'm here to get paid. Hope you like eating <laughs> So, uh, what happened with the resist there? Well, it's about to get bigger. I'm not sure, but he's up, so it's fine. Maybe, maybe it. I may huh. need some help. The gunships are targeting us with rockets. Maybe if it doesn't go through the block, resist doesn't trigger, prevent all damage. Maybe that's the case. There's, yeah, I got to figure that out. Cool. All right. Well, neat. So, we're getting attacked there. Uh, quick Punch gets me out. I'm on it. Next time, I won't hold back. I could just send him into the circle. And that gets me out of there. But then Iron Man's going to explode here. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold on. I've got Blast. Hold on. Okay. So I'm going to do this. Not with Hunter. That's all right. <laughs> if I send him here, he takes that explosive damage, and then I could blast him into the stun. I think we I think we might be able to kill be close.
Because, oh yeah, this is going to take me out of the circle. Because that, that circle's doing like 200 damage. There's the caller. I could do some redraws. I have slash even. And slash is probably enough. Oh, I want to keep. I need to keep him in this circle though. So that actually doesn't. That actually doesn't work. Um. Slash isn't the play. Because I can't, I don't want to knock him out. So I'm just going to get rid of it. I am also going to get rid of this. None of those work. Okay. I can get rid of this guy. And then I guess I just use Shield Bounce. The other option is I look for a Hunter card with Tactician. It's risky, but I think it might be worth the risk here. Oh, there it is. I'll make good use of this. <laughs> we got it. And it's a good one. Welcome, assistance. Make sure we're not ending up in there, but it looks like we're going to come back to our exact same spot. That should be the end of them. Serious. Holy moly, you guys. That was... We've done it. That was tough. We learned a lot of we cool mechanics there. Me worried for a second. Was afraid I wouldn't get the chance to use this. Hold that thought. What's our status, Brucey? We good? Oh yes, so good. Tony, was that a gamma burst? Why am I reading a gamma burst coming from inside the tower? Not to worry, everything is fine. All part of the plan. Bruce, what the hell is going on down there? <laughs> Something far worse than hell, Tin Man. Ah! Lilith, like I said before, <laughs> the Dark Mother thanks you so much bye bye, for the gamma accelerator. Couldn't have done it without you, Tony. Did I miss something? He is lost to us. Fallen to my mother's corruption. Yeah, sort of a thing now. You played us. Well, played me. The code, this. Also, you could steal your precious accelerator. Fight her off, Bruce. We both know you're much stronger than this. Always trying to play the hero, Tony. Well, here's your chance. Save the world. Take the shot. Disappointing. Ultimately, the right call. Brucey, Brucey. That's a one star, boys. Like, there's no way. Okay, it's a two star. <sighs> it's a two star. The second part of that fight went actually very well. Um, so, uh, yeah, okay. I'll take that, man. This difficulty is stressing me out. Big time. Iron Man. Yes, but also no. I think this was this was a hunter. Yeah, I think we take that. That's a that's a hunter MVP in my books, man. I feel like we have a steady source of credits now, which means the side missions that have credits as the main thing, we probably don't need to focus on very much. Tony, I 
I don't know what to say. Then don't say anything, because I don't want to talk about it. Tony at a loss for words? <laughs> That's a first. It's happened before, and it's never a good sign. He's deeply shaken. Okay. One more mission with Iron Man. We got two more Dark Balance. Gotta meet Steve. Oh, look. Nice. He's wearing... That's, this is where we store our current armor. <laughs> Love it. Lilith has a hope now. In here, I thought we were... Okay, a bunch of Man, common pallets. I never thought Dr. Banner's mind could get hacked. Poor guy. More common pallets. Thank you. Poor Wanda. Don't worry. We'll get them back. He's already at it. Both Training hard. We should talk. You're right. Let's talk about how your mother just turned one of my best <laughs> friends against us. The anger you feel is good. Hold it tight, that it may fuel you in the battle to come. In my experience, I find it's best to keep a clear head. You have never fought anyone like Lilith before. Clarity of purpose will not be enough. The flames of our conviction must burn hotter than hellfire if we are to succeed. Anger didn't help Bruce, and believe me when I say, he's the angriest man I've ever known. <sighs> Listen, I know what happened to Bruce isn't your fault. But... But I'd be a fool if I said I trust you completely. You're Lilith's kid. Could your mother turn you the same way she turned Bruce? I wonder if she has already. Reasonable. If that were the case, none of you would be standing here right now. You might be right, which is part of the problem. I don't know anymore. This is beyond anything I've ever faced before. These people look to me for guidance, but it feels like I'm stumbling around in the dark. You worry too much about the others. I'd say I don't worry enough. If I paid more attention, maybe I would have known something was wrong with Bruce. Maybe I could have saved him. If you want to save people, then focus on the enemy instead of those we have lost. That's a bit cold, don't you think? Ask me again when you have lost someone else. When you have lost countless someone else's. I will honor their sacrifice by destroying my mother. You know... I think I might have misjudged you, Hunter. I am the child of the Dark Mother. It is only right for you to be wary. I appreciate that, but the truth is, I was angry about Bruce, and I took it out on you. That's on me. I'm sorry. Let's start over. Hi. <laughs> I'm Steve Rogers. Hey, Steve. What do you say we get to know each other? Are all modern soldiers as well trained as you? I haven't been a soldier since 1945. Then why do they call you Captain America? You could say it was an old nickname that just stuck. You still have not answered my question. Listen, today's soldiers are some of the bravest, most dedicated people I've ever known. But my training was different. I volunteered for a special procedure in hopes of creating the world's first super soldier. It worked. But the man who invented it Dr. Erskine was killed soon after. So to answer your question, I'm the only one. How do you like being an Avenger? Maybe it's the soldier in me, but I just like being part of a team. Is that why you created them to begin with? I think you misunderstand. I didn't create the Avengers. I was under the impression you were their leader. I'm good with tactics. That's all it is. Believe it or not, I didn't join the Avengers until the first time Bruce quit. He didn't take that well at all. Nearly <laughs> tore apart New York. Dr. Banner? Impossible. You haven't seen angry he's Bruce. He's a different person when he's angry. You haven't seen anything yet. And still you let him come back? Everyone makes mistakes, Hunter. Ours are just uh, larger than most. There is something about you that I cannot place. You seem different from your friends, almost. <laughs> Older? I suppose so, yes. 
I get older fashioned. Last time I checked, I was 102. But honestly, I stopped counting. It's weird even for me. I was in a plane crash near the end of World War II. Went into the ice in 45 and stayed frozen for, well, long enough. When they finally fished me out, the world I knew was long gone. I understand we have that in common. It has been an adjustment. Believe me, I know. The world has changed a lot since you were last here. But if you need help or just need to talk it out, I'm here. Anytime. I sense there is a past between you and Crossbones. He's a mercenary. Real name, Brock Rumlow. Does not seem to like you very much. We go way back. He even killed me once. So you are an immortal. Only if you listen to the Avengers marketing team. It's a long story, but no, I bleed just the same as you. Well, not, not the same as you, or <laughs> Carol, or Bruce, even Tony and Steven, I guess. But look, I'm mortal. I am glad we had a chance to speak, Steve Rogers. I am too, Hunter. You're not too bad at this leadership thing yourself. Starting to feel like I could go another 12 rounds. No time like the present. Yeah, See well, have around, fun. Hunter. Okay, so big boys available. What Tony could have done. We must live with it. Let's be real. Let's go talk we to Tony. I told you I don't want to talk about it. Not talking about it won't make it less real. Banner has betrayed us and the tower has fallen. As Lilith rises, we fall. We were always so worried about the damage the Hulk could do. Quietly cheered to ourselves when we thought he might be gone for good. We never once considered what Banner's mind is capable of, unhinged. I should have seen this coming. Beating yourself up will not bring the tower back. I should know. I've been where you are now, spending countless hours blaming myself for the loss of the Sanctum for Wanda. Yeah? Well, maybe you didn't blame yourself enough. Some of us don't shrug off our failures so casually. I know you're angry, but if you're looking for a punching bag, may I suggest using the one in the yard and not me? There you go again, throwing in the towel before the fight is over. You're the only one who's fighting. Now take it outside, Tony. I've had enough. Yikes. Should we come back, boys? I fear the loss of his tower might break, Tony. I wish I could comfort him, but alas, I fear he's tired of me. Yeah, let me let me chat with him. Let me guess. You're here to tell me I screwed up, that I should have taken the shot at Banner when I had the chance. Go ahead, Hunter. What are you waiting for? Say it. Tell me I screwed up. <laughs> I don't think he should have taken that shot. Yes, you failed, Tony. You should have taken down Banner when you had a chance, but let your emotions get in your way. Savage. I know, I know, I know. I messed up. I, I just didn't have the heart to kill him. He was my friend. I loved him like a brother. Damn it, why didn't I see Bruce slipping away? I should have known something was going on with him. All the red flags were there, and I ignored them. Some grand genius I am. I have three masters, a PhD from MI freaking T, and I sat at the helm of one of the planet's greatest companies, but I couldn't even see what was screaming right in front of my face. How did I let him play me like that? Your own intellectual pride allowed him to play you. Uh, my, my intellectual pride? Just what the hell are you getting at? Lilith used your arrogance against you. Arrogance? How dare you? I dare because I have to. <laughs> we are not in control anymore, Tony. No one is safe. No fortress impenetrable. Not now. With my mother emboldening Hydra forces, there is nothing she cannot touch. You know, this, this little pep talk isn't really working for me. Then perhaps I should take my leave. Yeah, you do that, boss. Leave. Well, you know my Yikes. thoughts on the matter. Okay. Yes, Sarah, but not everyone's like you. Some of us. You wanted oh, a word. I thought she was done. Yes, about Banner. 
Do not worry, Sarah. I will take care of him. I wish it was that simple. You need to fully understand the gravity of the threat he poses to us now. Banner is a brilliant scientist. No doubt Lilith will find a way to exploit that. You've never met his alter ego. See, Lilith doesn't just have Banner's genius IQ at her disposal. She has the Hulk, and that's like having a god fight by her side. God or not, he's not invincible. That's just the thing. For all intents and purposes, the Hulk is invincible. Or close to it. But I don't need to convince you. You will see soon enough. Okay, I've said my piece. I just hope you heard it. You've never fought anything like the Hulk before. And hopefully we don't have to fight him soon. Tony Stark let sentimentality stay his hand. Why are we moving? See, she around? agrees. Let's get out there and avenge the Avengers Tower. Hunter, I see the battle at the Avengers Tower has left you relatively unscathed. Me, yes. Relatively. But Lilith has done far more damage than even we imagined. Yes, I've heard about what happened with Dr. Banner. Lilith is flexing her power in more ways than one. If we weren't the target of her ire, I might have said I was impressed by her growing resourcefulness. She has already proven to be just as powerful as ever. I think our new friends have finally come to realize that. Lilith is not to be trifled with. At least it was not a fatal lesson. You can be sure that Lilith is only going to get more dangerous the longer this goes on. And while we may be forced to wait for her next move, you can still continue your work on the grounds. We need Strange to think it will help? decrypt that... Barrier. The more you come to understand about your mother, the better prepared you'll be when it comes time to face her again. And if you happen to gain a blessing or two from the old gods in the process, I'm sure it can't hurt. I will keep looking for more of Wanda's notes and other materials. Let me know if you need my help, dear. Okie dokie. Anything new in here tonight? Ah, a gift. Who would like a dagger, I wonder? Found Strange Ward blocking the way. The magic is certainly arcane, but there's something else going on there as well. I've tried all manner of counter spells to break through, but so far nothing has phased. I'll have to think of something else. Maybe we're just waiting? Might just be waiting. In battle, we must make sacrifices. Banner has turned all evil scientist. I'm worried about what he'll do to Wanda. I don't want to think about it. I just want her home. Okay, so the pups in the hunter's quarters. I guess we're gonna rest. Oh, how do you like that new plush dog bed? It's still new to her. If I could upgrade that more, that's what I need. I need a Bradford sweater. I need a even more improved dog bed. That would be great. Uh, okay. We look good. I think it's time for sleeping. Oh. Visit from Mama. Yep. Oh, poor thing. I feel the torment within you. The pain. So conflicted. Don't worry, dear. I am here for you. Right. It pains me to see you so angry with me. As it pains me to lose a valued friend. Bruce will be pleased to know you feel as such. He appreciates your companionship as well. You misunderstand me. I do not miss Dr. Banner. I mourn him. Yet another soul fallen to your twisted call. More lies taught to you by Sarah and her pet witch. I do not compel Dr. Banner. I released him. 
released him from the shackles of those who've sought to control him his entire life. Such a unique mind, such a powerful soul, held in check for so long by his lesser. I cannot help but see the similarity to you, precious child. Will you not allow me to help you achieve the same? To find a true purpose? Achieve peace? You will never control me. Have you not been listening? That is the opposite of what I desire. When the time comes, you will stand by my side, freely. I would never have it otherwise. And I thought I was the one who was dreaming. <laughs> you have been asleep far too long, child. You must pierce the veil of their false prophecy and... Wake up! <gasps> hmm. Okay. I will never get used to that. Okay, we got a couple new things going on here. Uh, lightning struck and killed 11 members of the same family today, though each lived in different parts of the world. The strikes were confirmed to be simultaneous across the globe. Eleven family members. Blood relations? I just confirmed it. Obviously bad, but this isn't just more news of the weird. There's a ritual sacrifice known as the Hendeka tomb. Less formally as Atropos Dozen, rumored to come from the Darkhold. Dark blood magic destroying a living bloodline, ripping the family tree up from its roots, so to speak. As long as they number exactly 11 people, don't ask why, the answer is getting, or is either incomprehensible or falls under what we in the biz called malevolent math. So what does this mean beyond change your underwear? That Lilith has already begun settling scores, and that she can do so without requiring her physical presence. Huh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I'm ready for shop class, I think. This was yesterday. Okay. Maybe that'll be tomorrow. Okay, we also have Steve. Thanks for hosting me at the Abbey. Let me know how best to pitch in. You're the first Avenger to be that considerate. He's the first Avenger. Are you still annoyed I tossed out your kale chips? You replace them with cheesy crunchums. I don't want to get in the middle of a snack-based dispute. Is there an orientation of some kind? Spider-Man's the newest arrival. He can give you the tour. Me? You want me to show Captain America around? That would be an honor. Wait for it. My uncle collected newspapers about your exploits in the war. And there it is. Never gets old. And neither do I. Thanks for the offer, Spider-Man. Liliana says, who keeps putting the toilet paper on the wrong way? Show yourself. Let us settle this once and for all. My way is the only right way. <laughs> the yard right now. Winner decides. Hashtag popcorn. So who won? It was a tie. Neither of them would back down. So what do you think is the right way? Whatever keeps Ebony from turning toilet paper into confetti. Nice, nice, nice. And lastly, restricted to the Midnight Suns. I'm asked to ask a favor of you. This is from Strange. Tony's in a bad state of mind after what happened at Avengers Tower. It's no secret he struggled with depression. If you see signs of its recurrence, please inform me at once. It's not our place, she says. She, we cannot tell him how to live his life. I don't ask you to tell him anything. I ask that you tell me. Tony's a dear friend, but he hides his feelings for me to spare his concern. Or to spare me concern. He's far less likely to do that with you. Okay. Looking forward to tonight. Hey, Hunter. Oh, join in the gaming. I'm in. Mind if I join you? Please do. Hey, you know what they call me in France? What? Monsieur Spider? Well, nothing. I'm surprised <laughs> enough when people recognize me outside of Queens. But if they did, you know what they'd call me? No idea. Pierre Parkour. I can see that. I like it. What would you be called around the globe? Huh, I don't know. I haven't had the chance to linger in all the places I've been. Oh, there's a Spanish paper in Brooklyn that calls me Aranido. I like that one. Every now and then I hear someone call it out when they spot me. Usually kids, waving their arms off. Always makes my day. Oh, did I tell you Robbie's teaching me some Spanish? 
Next time I'll be able to say more than just, Yo no hablo espanol. Oh, I can give him a gift. I don't really have anything here for Spider-Man. Let's give, let's give him a a vase to hold flowers. He liked it. Now that's an excellent time. Rare swimsuits and legendary swimsuits. Okay, we'll take that. So I guess okay, that was interesting because it was like. Do you want to just join in the current activity like, instead of saying, hey, well, do you want to do a hangout? Anyway, move Which on. is fine. But their golden boy banner betrays them and they all fall apart. What can I do for hey, you? Can I ask a favor? Do you have any childhood memories of Lilith? Anything at all? The person she was before she became all the, mo the mother of monsters? A fragment of memory, a sense of warmth for light hunter balance and resilience. Uh, if I did, could I trust them? No, better to see her as she is than pine for what she once was. Three Dark Hunter balance and fortitude. So we get some block at the start of a mission. Thanks, Hunter. Renegade. Well, yeah, hello. Yeah. Really the Hunter's choices have it. granted them increasing mastery over the darkness no! within. The Renegade Caller so is now available for the Hunter to equip. Continue earning dark balance points Don't to unlock further or... rewards. Okay. So we have the Obsidian where we play three dark cards and then the next attack card deals double damage. The Renegade Caller. The next Hunter card played is free and you, but you have to play five to earn it. Interesting. I mean, we're going to rock it for a bit, for sure. I don't see... This one? Eh. Like... We don't have ways really outside of combat items to, to taunt enemies to the hunter. So, like, A, you have to get a bunch of people to attack the hunter. And then B, that 25% has to trigger. And then it's one marked, so you still have to follow up on them in that one turn to get your uh, your benefits there. Whereas I feel like this is just so good. But we will try the Renegade Caller. Um, we saw how powerful the other Caller can be, and we started to get it to trigger a few times now. So I'm curious to experiment with this. Uh, I'm guessing the threshold was like 60, maybe? Something like that. Okay. We've got some pallets in here. Canberra, Dazzleum. Looks like Adam Lambert a little bit here. Okay, I like Privet I like just Hunter. the black. It's someone in the app. What do you think? You don't think this whole Bruce Wanna thing is fair either, right? Fair. What do you mean, Nico? Oh come on! You see the double standard too? I know you do. All they care about is losing Bruce. It's as if Wanda never existed. Now we all have to sit around and cuddle Stark through his <laughs> grief. Who was there for us when Wanda was taken, huh? Where was our Kleenex and freaking group therapy? The times changed, man. The Avengers, caretaker. They do not care about Wanda and never will. I know, right? Nice. You were right in believing that they will only take care of their own. Perhaps it is time to do the same. Uh, what do you mean? You want them to save Wanda, but maybe it is you who should save her. That's not a bad idea. <laughs> I can already see this pissing off caretaker, which is even more of a reason for me trying. <sighs> sure, you good know, luck. I bet if they had a shot at saving their precious banner boy, they wouldn't hesitate. How long has Wanda been gone? We've waited long enough for someone to take action. And action is just what I might take. Okay. Uh, Haven wise, we have a couple options. I could bring. Captain America, straight up. Bring him to a haven. Uh, Spider-Man is close. Iron Man, we could go to a haven. I'm just also thinking of who I can pair a gift with. And somebody whose um, other benefits we may want. Uh, I do have gifts for Strange, but I've taken him to a haven, I believe. Yeah, so that's done. Have we taken Blade to a Haven? I haven't. I don't really have a good gift for him, but... All new Ghost Rider. 
Hey, okay. Why don't we take our boy Robbie? I, I still, as you can probably tell, I really want Robbie to be awesome. Hey. Hey, Hunter. You want to play with us? What do I think he would like? A picnic. I will take him somewhere, like, shady or, like, graveyard adjacent. Meditate with a friend. Picnic. Painting. Meditate. Fishing. Mushroom hunting. Birds. Let's take him on a picnic. We don't cook enough around here. Everyone does their own thing. We should have a night where we all bring something to the table. You know, uh, potluck? We could start a weekly tradition. Hey, I make a mean carne asada. <laughs> Must be hard not to burn the steak when you are made of fire. Eh, I tried that once. And? And Hellfire Grilled Steak is five kinds of nasty. Okay, we're doing this. Give me a few days to put this together. And then, coming soon to an abbey near you, Midnight Suns, the potluckening. Might need to uh, workshop that. Too much? Yeah. A bit. Yeah. I'll work on it. Okay, all new Ghost Rider number one. Love the legendary right gift. On. Perfect. Ooh, Thanks, we got the Hunter. moto jacket. Dark. Oh, yes. That's sick. 17 friendship there, so that's boosted him into I the next hate picnics, realm. But there were no bugs. Uh, let's go here. Extra extended family too. Moto jacket dark. Oh, yeah. We're going super goth. <laughs> All right. Cool. All taken care of. Okay, we got Lash Plus. That was one that we were theorizing about getting. So that turns Lash Plus into a quick card. I love it. Um, Ghost Rider's still going to be pretty situational, but if we can get him strong, then we're laughing. I don't have enough intel to do this, which is not the end of the world because it's not expiring. How are you, Carol? Better than Tony. Poor guy. I hate seeing him beat himself up over Banner. I mean, every option was some Faustian flavor of crap. Would you have been able to take the shot? Because I don't think I could have. I would not have hesitated to have taken that shot at Banner. Easy for you to say. He wasn't your friend. You didn't really know him. It would not have mattered. We cannot let our friendships become liabilities. Woof. Remind me not to make room for you at my table in the cafeteria. Table? Cafeteria? Never mind, Hunter. It's a joke for people who we actually We don't know what a table friends. is yet? Speaking of... I should really check in on Tony at some point today. See you around. See ya. A successful collaboration. Okay, so we now have a threat room. Launch endless so, combat missions from the yard to earn XP Wait, and practice hero me. abilities against enemies in limbo. So, um, this might be fun to do, but I probably wouldn't do this, like, on video. Maybe we'll do one at some point just to try it, but... Okay. I need to complete... Okay, interesting. If I complete one hero op with Captain America... Then hero challenges become available on every mission, which is not a priority. This is our next priority. So Ghost Rider has to come on the next mission so we can get the forge schematic for the armory. And then alien alloys, we gain more intel into crypting caches. So we're going to do this. I now need to get into, I need an artifact. So in a perfect world, we would be able to do an artifact mission with Ghost Rider. That's, that's the plan. So, how's the whole saving the world thing going? Oh, you know, Tone. 
Avengers Tower got destroyed, but it's fine. Uh -huh. Not bad, Double right? your current heroism. Ooh, I like that. Consume 25 block to deal additional damage. I feel like that could be good. Change the cost of a random heroic card in your hand to zero. We have one of these. I think saving this to do an upgrade to it might be worthwhile. Um, once we get into really high cost heroics, that could be powerful. What's the upgrade for Quick Blast? Oh, okay, draw a... Iron Man card. Here's the thing with Shield Bash. A lot of times I'm going to be building up block so he can actually taunt stuff and use the block. I'm pretty sure Charlie left a steaming coil in the hallway. Third state of matter, indeed. Um, what's the upgrade here? Double your heroism and draw a heroic card. It's just that our card plays are so precious. Consume 33% block to deal additional damage. Hmm. Let's take the two Iron Man cards for now. We can always craft that shield bash if we want. You find more coil, send it my way. Okay, vampiric essence is good. We have no attack essence right now. Okay. I think having focusing lens this should be useful. Could be kind of nice. I would build this this nanotech if I had tons of excess heroic essence, which technically I do <laughs> because we don't always get heroic cards. Let's put the threat room in. That's expensive. Wow. Good addition. Now let's get to work. Okay. Hero can train in threat room once per day to gain XP and practice the use I of their abilities. We oh, okay. The firing range first. Okay, that's kind of neat. It's once per day. Ready for more? I don't know why our hero is missing. <laughs> uh, what changed that? That came after we unlocked the Dark Moto suit, right? Maybe when we reload, it'll be fine. Okay, I've got nothing in here I can do. And we don't have any attack essence. Sparring is a friendship boost and uh, block boost and friendship XP. Peace. Let's see what our mission's going to be. Huh. Intel cache. Credits, artifact, blueprints. So I think we go here for artifact, stop a, a helicopter. We just want to make sure that we have um, enough to be able to keep our research going. Technically, I don't need this yet. Like, maybe it would be better for me to get an intel cache so I, so I can keep doing the hero ops. Maybe I do a supply run. When then I get to bring magic, which is cool. And then I'll probably bring uh, Ghost Rider and the Hunter. I could also bring Captain America and change things up a little bit. Because that gets me into uh, Forged and Hellfire, gets me into Sit Rep. And then I can do Iron Man mission. I have, to, I have a lot of Spider-Man missions I need to do. Uh, but maybe I can wait. Yeah, maybe we'll do this. Get the Intel cache going because I still have the research. Hunter, if you have a moment. Well, I do. Regardless of what Mr. Stark thinks... The mirror table was guiding our hand reliably for centuries before the advent of computers. I'm just seeing, do I have an attack card I could get rid of? Let's salvage Holy Flame here. And Holy Spark.
That way I can get into some upgrades. Think Doctor Strange knows Merle? Let's do this. So I can upgrade our second Merciless, which I will do. New and improved. And I'll upgrade, <laughs> upgrade, upgrade our Quick Blast. So now we have two of those. Throwing is boosted. Now Topple and Falling Traps will be boosted as well. Later. Okay. Um, should I look into this? Enter Limito face three waves of Soulless with a single hero. Each hero may enter the threat room once per day to try out abilities, gain XP, and level up. Combat bonuses are disabled. Any hero at or above level 12 will not gain XP. Huh. Let's, um... We'll just go through this really quick. Just see what it's like. I like the idea that it's one hero. Combat enemies may be used, but will not be permanently consumed either. Oh, cool. Looks like it's getting hot in here. I fight gangs all the time in New York. What the hell? How is he ever going to be able to do this? I don't think that's the point. I think I think the point is to just get whatever experience you can get. Like thwipping here seems like a trap, right? Because obviously these guys are just going to destroy him. Uh, and then Spider Sense does get us some cards. You can do stuff like this. That doesn't clear, uh, that doesn't clear a minion. That clears two, which does kind of remove an option for me. If that makes sense. Let's do it this way. This would be a lot easier if you guys just give up now. The Damned. All Soulless will refund a card play when they're KO'd. Soulless Beasts and Brutes will also draw cards when KO'd. Oh. Draw two cards. On KO, refund a card play. And on KO, draw two cards. Okay, wow. And the Minions, you refund a card play. Alright, that's kind of cool. The chain strike, obviously, we could do like. I just, I only see this. Right, we go here and then we land somewhere else, which is don't get me wrong, still good. But I think the puzzle is we need to figure out how to best utilize all of this. Hmm. We have moves. We have cards that could gain moves as well. Sorry, but you had it coming. So the thwips feel kind of bad here. Got another chain strike. Let's start weakening this guy, because then I can chain strike him. This one's for you. Maybe, I don't know, you should have asked Lilith for cooler outfits. Okay. Now if I take him out, we're also gonna draw cards. Let's do this first. I'm going for it. Nice. Let's do this. We could gain another fast and we gain a resist. There's still turns, but like, man. I don't know. A 
I'm on it. Let's use some of this heroism. We're gonna start setting up uh, chains. So they're at 61, 30, and 101. Here we go again. Okay. So he's still just he's gaining XP even if we're not clearing the field. Like it's still nice. Okay. So that's a that's a KO here. 30. 30. Another one there. Two. Three. Then we set up another one. Somewhere over here where maybe we're chaining those guys. Here comes the heat. I love the idea that you can use your, your combat like items. Gain a redraw, and we have Vampiric in there. Uh, we want to use this against a bigger guy. Into a minion to get the damage down. The health down. This is kind of fun. Take that. Just the boost I needed. There's the big chain that we need. 47. So one, two. Don't know if I can get over there. No, I can't. Okay. So the fast just stacks into the next turn. Now that I have my two thwips, maybe that's fine. I can just use our basic chain strike here to go one, two. One, two, three. Weaken that guy a bit. Oh, like it's up to me. my bad. Oh, yeah, because that one's only two. That's, but yeah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I wonder if these are at all set up for individual heroes. Okay, he's out of range here. Same. No targets. Take Let's drop the rock. <laughs> That's 30. Okay. This would be my last card play, so I kind of have to... I have to be KOing now. I don't have anything to knock them into, unfortunately. Oh, but I have this. And I have so much heroism. Well, that'll work. That takes care of, like, one of the outliers. Spider Sense Plus, so I can gain more resist. That's probably wise to finish with. If I can't clear this. Sixty would take him down to forty-one. Then I could chain strike him. I could chain strike these three if I reposition here. Uh, 
Oh, we're out of reach? Bro. That's rough. Okay. Let's do this. Here we go. That'll take him into a chain strike range. So, 47. There's this guy and this guy. I kind of... I don't know if I'm going to be able to pull it off here. Unfortunately, no. So, let me do this. Because... We still get the card plays refunded if I KO one. And if I put him down, I actually need to do this guy here. Here we go. Nice. That's actually pretty cool, man. It makes sense to have these, like that doesn't finish him. So, he's at 52 damage now, on this. This one's for you! Nothing personal, but I think you're out of your league here. Okay. I can chain him. We get the card play back. And then Spider Sense, I guess. Oh, this is not the one I thought it was. This is strengthened and vulnerable. Oh, I could have I could have used that to probably clear this a little quicker. is a little rusty, but didn't the Hydra originally have nine heads? So, I can't take him out, unfortunately. He's just out of range of this, which is a real bummer. So, would it be better for me to go resist here? Because he's going to attack us once, I may as well just resist it. We draw more Spider-Man cards. I'm at you. Okay, I was wondering. I was like, we have the whole deck here. I was curious to see what would happen there. I did think about that. That's funny. Um, all right, fine. Okay. That's kind of cool, I guess. Holy moly. Okay, so this is like I don't know about wow. you, but I'm excited. Okay. So let's use this. So these are like Yeah, these are these could be pretty long. You don't have to overthink it cuz there's really no risk, which is nice. Okay, so there's some stronger ones coming in now. Our quicks on the minions, and we'll try and damage the higher health guys. Otherwise, you're in trouble. I'm on. At least you get to travel to new exciting destinations before you get beat up. Okay. So, the threshold is 63. I only have one in that range at the moment.
Let's draw some cards. For you. Is that just going to give me my quicks? That gives me the spider sense plus. Okay. So the idea for him is really to play the chain strikes. I could set up one of these 70s. I could probably use a quick for this now. For like decades. <laughs> you guys are really gonna get hurt if you're not careful. Then I'm in the same situation. If I can level him, though, like, he probably takes us into that threshold where the 70 is maybe enough. That's the thing. There we go. Let's see. What's our offense? Five. Well, it's at 70. Damn. Okay. I'm going for it. That armor must be stronger than it looks. Otherwise, you're in trouble. cooler outfits so now the idea here is we need to use the environment Try this. Ah! looks like it's up to me so uh, this is not something I'll do um must be tough losing all the time every day like, <laughs> and i and i probably will hits. never include these in videos i don't think because as you can see like it's it is fun to play around with maybe it, learning a new hero and we just gained him two levels maybe more by the time it's all said and done uh i could use this to just keep stacking his resist Here we go again. even though we don't get the other benefits oh and then i actually i could have redrawn there a couple of cards. Eh, I'm used to being outnumbered at this point. Okay, so now we're below because we don't have strengthened anymore. Let's just see what we can do without. I know I wouldn't want to fight us. No, there's not going to be a whole lot we can do. I'm going for it. You guys are really going to get hurt if you're not careful. One's for you. You can still run away. I promise we won't chase you. Oh, this should be good. Should come in handy.
Okay. Is that guy getting hit by that? No, he's not. lives to fight another day. <laughs> that's kind of cool, like... I mean, that's, that's kind of cool, I think. I wonder if these mission ratings go towards unlocking difficulties and stuff. You get so many levels, it's another way to keep your, your heroes leveled up. So, yeah, I'm not sure how I could best work that into my recording stuff, but like, it'd be silly... Yeah, you can do each hero once per day. I guess it's just going to be a situation where I'm like, this person's severely behind. I'm going to throw him into the threat room, get a few levels, and then Bob's your uncle. You know what I mean? I think that's the only thing I can come up with. But if you guys have suggestions, let me know. I may even have made this a one-off video. I'm not sure. We'll see. Okay, so we're going to take a break here, guys. When we come back, we're going to go on the supply run mission for an intel cache. So we can keep our hero ops going. Uh, I guess we'll probably hear about the wards soon. We'll probably find out what the next story mission is soon. And we'll take Ghost Rider on this mission. So it should be fun. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one. Bye for now.